Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to deal with some setup and we're actually going to test out what we've done so far. But before we can do any of that, we need to create a new C Sharp script. So let's come to our scripts folder and we'll create a C Sharp script and we're going to call this Game Manager and then we'll open it for editing. Now we only need a few lines of code for now. So let's go ahead and input those. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new void and of type awake. We'll open and close brackets, we'll open and close again. We'll come inside and we'll say cursor.visible we're going to set false and we'll close the line off into the comments. We'll say set the cursor visible to false on awake. We'll come to the next line. We want cursor and we want dot lock state. And it's going to be equal to cursor lock mode. And we want cursor locked mode dot locked. Let's close that line off mm -hmm. and into the comments. And we'll say and lock the cursor on awake. Also let's tidy up them comments so literally as soon as the game begins this is now what's going to happen we're going to set the cursor to be not visible and we're going to lock it as well the next line can go in the void start and what we're going to say is don't destroy on load we'll open and close brackets we'll close the line off Inside the brackets, we'll type this. Let's put that into the comments. We'll say, don't destroy this game object when loading a new scene. And we'll just save that off. For now we can actually close that script we can close mono develop and we need to be in the splash screen scene and we're going to create a new empty game object we'll just reset the transform and we'll give this a naming convention of game manager let's attach that script and we'll just drag and drop into our prefabs folder. So with that in place, let's come to scenes and controller warning. Make sure you save this scene when prompted. And we're going to come here. Now we can ignore the first slot, but we need to add some textures to these three. So the first thing I'm going to assign is the background and I'm just using a plain black background and you'll see why in a moment. And I've also created two text. So the first one, as you can see, warning, this game requires a gamepad for play. If you do not have a compatible gamepad connected, please click one now after which the game will start. And as you can see, I've left a little gap here at the bottom. Now you must make sure that alpha is transparency is ticked and then applied if necessary. And the other text is, and I don't know if you can see that, I'll zoom in a bit. It says controller detected game will now start. And this is at the very bottom. And that's because these two are going to overlay. So, 
We'll assign this one to controller warning text and controller detected to controller detected text. So with these now in place, we'll come back to scenes, we'll come back to the splash screen and we're going to hit save again when prompted. Now, I do not have a controller connected to my PC at the moment, but I do have a wired 360 controller here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the game. Hopefully it should cycle through the splash screen, load to controller warning, and I'll get the warning text and then when I plug in my controller the t text the secondary text should then come up saying controller detected so let's test this out just bear with me while I grab the controller now again it's not connected at the moment so let's hit play so it's just cycling through our splash screen and it should fade out in a moment which it is doing now. So here we are in the controller warning scene. Now as you can see the mouse cursor is locked and not visible so you can see the warning text so when I plug in the controller we should get the second text and then it should load to main menu so let's plug it in now and there we go hopefully you can see at the bottom bottom left hand corner that um, in fact if I just escape and see if we can free the mouse cursor as you can see when I plugged in the controller we got a debug log and as you can see we're now loaded into main menu now let's stop that there for a moment now these were just made up very quickly in paint.net obviously you can keep yours simple like mine are or you can create elaborate ones if you wish that's entirely up to you and if you want me to go over how these were created, I would certainly be happy to. But I think most people know how to create, you know, these sort of GUI, these sort of textures. So that's all we're doing for this lesson. So everything now works up to the main menu scene, which we have done nothing other than create it. And that is now what we're going to deal with in the next lesson. So just a quick, simple video this time. But um, as always, I still hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.